Hello, boys and girls! Welcome back to more oxygen not included. Uh, we are uh, still a tiny colony with four uh, duplicates because uh, we just cannot get more uh, food out of it. Uh, so we could add more duplicates. Uh, last time uh, we did a bit of work here on the uh, electrical side of things. Now we have a few more uh, batteries here because the uh, these natural gas guys are will become active. We will see that in this episode, and we also uh, set up an auto sweeper here to fill our coal generator so I think now it's actually time to uh, connect this because once we get power out of here um, it should no longer be uh, using this coal generator at least I hope that that's that's how it works uh, then we are also pumping out a bit of water from here uh, to there and apparently uh, the level of water is going down but this one is coming back soon again and then we have another one up here so maybe uh, let's add priority um, six here as well so we can finish this build and uh, we probably then want to have a liquid pump we'll place that here and yes it's not the best idea to uh, uh, work there while hot steam is coming out um, uh, maybe yes you should go down there quickly before bad things start to happen and that probably means uh, it will take a while until we can finish the analyze up there but another thing that I want to do is uh, maybe open up here a bit and um, and we can mop up all this liquid chlorine um, no use in letting that gas out that's that's not the, the, the best thing to do um, but yes um, also managed to get ourselves a beautiful mermaid here in our dining room this should help uh, the decor greatly here and it would probably also help if we uh, would clean up the mess that we have here you know no one likes to live in a pigsty yeah and how are we looking here uh, point two and this one is already uh, active and the goal is that uh, probably we will use this geyser uh, to get the, the water from so that uh, this geyser 
uh, only is used for um, oxygen production. So that is looking okay. Um, and now that we have opened this up, let's mop things up. least and there okay they are starting to uh, to work and of course the polluted water turns to uh, polluted ice because it is so freakingly uh, cold up here um, minus minus 30 degrees celsius but we are loading our batteries and that should be uh, overall good once uh, the batteries are full then i would also expect that uh, the uh, um, generators stop and uh, we actually uh, uh, store a bit of uh, of gas first in the, the generators but then also in the in the tanks right so that's going on that's going on Uh, the timber rate here is growing uh, at least uh, the temperatures here is okay for now and we shall see how this uh, this continues in just a bit meanwhile this uh, geyser steam vent has been analyzed so we do know uh, it has uh, uh, 78 uh, cycles active period out of 177 so basically uh, it's 100 cycles inactive uh, but the next one is only in 50 uh, and we are also making progress a bit here on uh, doing the the walls around here uh, probably we will get some polluted water uh, in there uh, the mopping job does not go that greatly but we are filling up uh, our gas tanks and then last time we also figured out that this system um, will not work because we need actually two hydrogen generators uh, but uh, we do not manage to generate enough power to overcome the uh, hiccups so what i think we shall do is take a bit of uh, gold um, uh, go this way and then we shall have a switch a switch let's have a switch here and that way we can basically uh, power this up and once this is running full speed uh, then it should be self-sufficient because uh, we get a bit more than uh, 100 gram 
of hydrogen out of an electrolyzer and 100 gram is what the generator uh, needs and uh, we have two uh, and each of them generates 800 watt of power so two is uh, 160 and uh, we require uh, 1560 so just below that uh, mark there uh, we probably also could do away with uh, with the gas filter there that would bring it down a bit more and let's see what we have in here Dracula X we will take these um, how are we looking in here uh, walls are making progress so maybe then let's uh, also prioritize the, the first stretch here so that we can sort that part out and we can even think about uh, now that we are storing uh, the gas we apparently are not using enough so uh, we could think of uh, doing things so what things could we do that would be uh, beneficial um, We could probably turn this heater on, but with this setup over here, that probably will overpower um, the, the, the thing. So I think we really should uh, get this, uh, this hallway up here so that we can have multiple um, transformers that can lead in the, the power um, uh, yeah they started here uh, with the with the wire and they will continue as they will up here up here all the walls are now built but we get a bit of polluted water in here uh, that we should be able to clean up and down here we also have the connection and currently the, the switch is uh, turned off but if we uh, do that we should see a, a constant stream uh, coming out here and uh, eventually I hope that the uh, hydrogen will back up there because we produce a tiny bit more uh, hydrogen than we are actually using for uh, these two. And probably we have uh, potential overload here um, but we can disable the diffuser again because uh, in between uh, the air got a bit uh, thin uh, or uh, carbon dioxide heavy so uh, the way I try to deal with that is making a bit more room down here and then here we can see uh, we have this stable full as well so let's create another one just like the one below pick that out oh. The roof has to go one higher. So that means and then we can have this here. 
here. And this here. Back there. Then we'll do this. And grab all that copper. So we will copy the settings from below as well. Um, be nice. And how are we looking here? I mean the the oxygen is is backed up. Which means um, the electrolyzers are not constantly running. So let's see if we can put a, a battery there. Uh, if we can then separate the two circuits. Ooh, we do have uh, a bit of, uh, of stress. Um, why is that? Low morale? Should all be fine, I think. I mean, what we can do um, paintings. We can have some in here. And eventually we will remove them because we want to upgrade uh, the, their sleeping uh, um, uh, rooms, beds. Uh, but I think for that we will need plastic and we are not there yet. Uh, looks like we have... Uh, a stock tracklet there, so let's uh, let's make meat out of that. Up here, our containers are full, which means um, this chamber in here will also fill up, and up here. At the top we have polluted oxygen, then the natural gas, and then the carbon dioxide, which has a low density 850 grams per tile uh, versus 1050 grams per tile, and that's even higher up there. So the item frames are built, which means uh, uh, eventually the artist can then come around and uh, draw some figures. But our artist is currently in the medical bay. So. Maybe you are not eligible. So let's see, we will take the gold amalgam and then I think in the next episode we have to focus to make our way through here so we can 
uh, hook up this pump um, and have a second entry for a power cable into our base and we might even uh, think about adding um, an air lock up here to get out and about. So uh, let's actually try separating the, the, two, the two systems. So now we do not have an, uh, an overload situation anymore. Uh, at least potential overload situation. looks like it is not sustainable. It is the switch, so probably we will have to uh, have a dedicated line from somewhere up here. We can pull it down in the in the wall. But then we need for the for the rest of the base we need um, another way. But that's things for the future. We will close today's episode. We made some progress all nice and clean up here. Um, have a bit more sustainable uh, oxygen production there. Yes. Now we just have to deal with the uh, carbon dioxide down there, um, but I think we will manage uh, somewhere soon. Until then, goodbye!